Happy lunch hour, guys. Okay, so as we get a little sizzle in the back from some bacon and eggs for breakfast on a nice uh, rainy day here in Tennessee, thank God for all those of you guys hoping for some of it. Hopefully it hits to you too. But it's that time of the month when, not that time of the month, uh, but that time of the month when we go over and see what the latest grocery inflation figures are in Joe's economy. Joe's actually not in pain this month. So let's take a look at these standard 10 items that we've looked for. If you guys haven't picked this up before, we do this every month. And I compare the prices of 10 grocery staples month over month to what at the same store so we can see what grocery inflation numbers really are because we all know food is expensive. Okay, So... Same 10 items, same store, Walmart Supercenter in Middlesboro, Kentucky, which is about an hour from me, but it's the easiest way I can compare the same thing all the time. Doing on some bare bones basic food, what we all look for. All right, so the first one here is bread. Bread has stayed very, very stable all year. At my particular Walmart, it was $1.32 in January, it's $1.32 today, and it's been $1.32 every month of the year so far. So bread hasn't moved at all, which surprises me because of all the stories we keep hearing about wheat crops. But the price hasn't gone up, so there we are. Milk. Milk actually came down this month. Milk was $3.34 a gallon last month. It is $3.22 this month. I'll take any drop we can get. 12 cents is still 12 cents. Okay. Eggs. Eggs are the one that is saving Joe's butt in the economy. Uh, eggs actually came down again this month. They were 252 in May for 18 eggs. They are now 233. And where I say it's saving Joe's butt, in January, 18 eggs were $6.04. So it is the only thing that is keeping food prices overall from going up in our little test. Number four, butter. Uh, butter stayed very very similar over the last four months. It's been three, $3.98 a pound since March. Uh, it was four forty eight at the beginning of the year. So butter has gone down for the year, but it's been stable for the last four months. Lettuce. Lettuce is the same as it was last month, which is 30 cents more than it was in April, $1.98 a head. Just absolutely freaking insane that it's $1.98 for a head of lettuce. But still, grow your own lettuce. <laughs> it's super easy, and you can do it on a kitchen counter. Honey crisp apples. This is the one that still kills me. Per apple, okay. Price is the same. Has been in April, May, and June. $2.06 for a freaking apple. Okay. Plant an apple tree. God. Uh, ground beef. Ground beef is, guess what? Up. Okay. $4.64 a pound in May. $4 in, or $4.64 in May. $4.96 in June. Yeah, so much for prices, you know, for people getting ready for 4th of July or whatever it would be. What still kills me about ground beef, I'm looking at the 7327 stuff. The cheapest ground beef you can get. The one that's more than a quarter fat, you know, the grease that you're throwing out, okay, or saving in a jar to cook something else in. But we're paying five bucks a pound for cheap ground beef. That that goes into a lot of what I've been saying before, guys, about taking the proteins away from us to weaken us as a people so we can't fight back. I will say the same thing I've said every time. Find yourself a local source of beef. If you can't raise it yourself, which most of us can't, find find somebody who raises cattle or whatever. Look wherever you can find sales. If you can, I've mentioned a grocery outlet near me or whatever. If you see ground beef cheaper than $4.96 for seventy three twenty seven. Buy a bunch of it and freeze it. Buy a bunch of it and can it, okay? I will tell you this, personal opinion. Ground beef, can't make hamburgers this way. Ground beef, to me, actually tastes better after it's been canned 
than if you just uh, use it fresh. So if you're making a spaghetti sauce or anything like that that you put ground beef, crumbled ground beef in, the canned ground beef tastes better than your fresh stuff. Personal opinion. Try one. See what you think. Okay. Chicken thighs. Okay. Again, going for the cheapest cuts of meat because we are all on a budget. Chicken thighs are still at $3.48. They have been since April. Okay. That's still up from the $2.56 that they were at the beginning of the year. So if you want to look at chicken thighs over the first six months of the year, we've seen a 30% increase in the price of chicken thighs. Yeah. Last one, Coke. Coke is down. Coke has been $2.68 for a two-liter bottle since February. This month, it is $1.78. So it brings down the overall cost of groceries. Now, certainly no, people don't buy everything on this list. Some people don't drink Coke. Some people don't drink coffee, whatever it would be. Just, I'm... Sticking with the same 10 items that are basic staples that a lot of people have. Okay. So overall this month, the grocery bill for this list would be $35.03. Last month it was $35.92. So groceries actually, this list of groceries actually came down 2.5% this month. Okay, not a big deal. I mean, I'll take down. Anything down is good. At beginning of the year, the same list of groceries was 38 and a quarter, and it's now 35.03. So that's down nearly eight and a half percent. We'll take it. The big things that have dropped month over month and year over year uh, is eggs and Coke. All right. Now, who knows where Coke's going to go, whatever it would be, but that was the significant difference this month, a 90 cent drop in a bottle of Coke. Right. If you just take eggs out, okay, from $6.04 to $2.33, which is a huge difference, but it is a protein source. If you take eggs out of this list, the other nine items collectively are up 1.5% year to date. So, Joe better be real nice to all those chicken farmers out there who are raising eggs because they're the only ones that are making his numbers look any better. Right now... Inflation is in check as for food. I'm credit where credit's due. We haven't seen food inflation this year. Good, because we only saw unofficially 30 to 40% last year. So I don't have numbers from 2022. I wish I did to see what this stuff cost for the 12 months of 2022. But at least now... This is the new normal in food prices, and it's staying relatively the same. If grocery prices go up 1.5%, exc you know, excluding the eggs here, for the year, I'm okay with that. 2% inflation is healthy inflation for an economy. But I just wanted to give you this. We do this every month, per your request. I was going to do it every quarter. But we do this every month just so we can keep a little check and balance on the bullshit figures that come out from the Biden administration when they're talking about inflation. There's, there's what's the numbers in my area. Enjoy the rest of your Saturday, hope or Sunday. Hope you get some rain. Good luck.